Hi everyone, Farmer Kate here and we are back down in our reptile house for another educational video and in today's video we're going to be featuring one of my favourite animals in here which are our musk turtles. Now the musk turtles we have here, they are one of the smallest species of turtle in the entire world and that means they only kind of get three to five inches long. So they're a really, really dinky species of turtle, which means like we can keep them in one of our smaller aquatic enclosures. We do have three of them here at the farm and they do all have names. So when we first got one, it was called Mustard. And then a few months later, we got another two and we called them Chuckney and Pickle. And they're all really, really cute turtles. They all get along together really, really well. In the wild, you can find these guys in kind of southeastern Canada and the Midwest. You can also kind of find them down all the way down in Texas as well. They are a common musk turtle. There are a few other species of musk turtles around, but these are going to be like the most likely one you're going to come across. They are mainly an aquatic turtle species. Now you're probably thinking, surely all turtles and terrapins are aquatic and that's true for the most part. But many other species of turtle, like red headed sliders and stuff like that, they will come out of the water a lot to bask. And with musk turtles, they do come out of the water on occasions, but the majority of the time they're going to be spending in the water. So they are a freshwater species of turtle. So they're going to be living in things like streams, rivers and ponds. So they're not going to be anywhere near the sea, really. With these turtles, um, they're not very good swimmers compared to a lot of other ones out there. So you'll often find them kind of cruising along the bottom. And that's mainly where they're going to be found, like on the bottom of riverbeds rather than like swimming during the water. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one of these guys out to ha let you have a close up look at them. Just because they are one of the shyest species we keep here. So they've been kind of hanging out behind me while I've been chatting about them. So I better go get one out and then you can have a close up look at them. All right, so here I am with one of our little turtles and you can see for yourself just how small these ones are. So they can live over 50 years. So you probably know that turtles, they are quite a long lived animal and these ones are no exception. So they are quite shy, like I said, and the reason they're quite shy is when you're a turtle this size, like a lot of things out in the wild would want to eat you. So you can imagine this is the size of an adult. Um, them being, when they're younger, they're even more small. So they're just teeny, teeny, tiny. With turtles, they usually lay like a lot of eggs all at once, kind of 15 plus. But these being like quite a small species, it's more like three to nine eggs they're gonna lay. And those eggs, in comparison to the size of their body, they are like really, really big. If you ever see like a mustard turtle egg, it's, all, it's always surprising just how much they can like fit inside. So I hope you've enjoyed meeting our musk turtles here at the farm. This one has actually been really well behaved for me. And kind of the final fact I'll leave you on is they do have another name, which is a stink pot turtle. And the reason for that is if they're frightened or scared, what they'll do, they'll admit a foul smelling odour to kind of scare off predators, giving them a chance to get away. But thankfully, I've got no, no of that odour here. So I think we're in the clear. So I better put this one back. So I hope you enjoyed meeting them. And from me and these guys, we'll see you later. Bye.